So welcome back and we are going to continue our talking on chemistry. It is all that matters and we're going to do that today talking about how to convert grams to moles and how to convert moles to grams using those same rules of dimensional analysis that we learned earlier in the semester. So let's look at two examples of this process and we are going to look at first converting grams to moles. And I made grams green because that's going to be our starting point and moles red because that is going to be our ending point. And the question is how many moles of aluminum are there in 25 grams of aluminum? So I'm going to begin with my starting point of 25 grams of aluminum and I'm going to multiply by a conversion factor and this conversion factor is going to have the mass of aluminum from the periodic table 26.98 grams in the denominator because we are trying to cancel grams and we know that the mass from the periodic table the gram formula mass is also known as the molar mass and therefore it is equal to one mole now doing the math here, the grams will cancel and we are going to end up with an answer in moles. And so we're going to take the 25.0 grams, of, multiply it by the one mole and divide by 26.98 grams, remembering that any number on the top of the fraction we are multiplying, any number on the bottom of the fraction we are dividing, and this gives us an answer of 0 0.927 moles of aluminum because there are three significant digits in the question, 25.0, we need three significant digits in our answer, so therefore it is 0 0.927. So let's look at the reverse of that process and let's convert moles to grams. So in this case our question is how many grams of aluminum are in 2.5 moles of aluminum? And again we're using the green moles as our start and red grams is our end. And we're going to begin with that 2.5 mole sample of aluminum. And in this case we are going to multiply by a conversion factor but this time the mole will be in the denominator because we are trying to cancel the unit mole. We're going to use the mass from the periodic table, 26.98 grams of aluminum, and this will give us an answer in grams after moles cancels. And here we're going to do 2.5 times 26.98, and we're going to divide by 1, and we are going to get an answer of 67.45 grams of aluminum but we are dealing with only two significant digits from the question 2.5 moles of aluminum so therefore our final answer is actually 67 grams of aluminum so this is two basic samples of how to convert grams to moles and moles to grams and in each case we are using the same rules of dimensional analysis that we learned earlier in the year. So we have some sample problems for you to do as part of your SOFIA. So go ahead and work through that and keep working on your chemistry.